Thank you. Can we have um, Can we have the CEO of uh, BBCBE two minutes, and I'll time him. Can I? I'm telling you. Colleagues, once again, good evening to you. Uh, I'm not going to preach as the stalwart has dictated, but firstly, let me acknowledge in our midst the presence of the immediate past president of the BBCBE, Dr. Tanlin Lovu Mulugwani, our immediate past president. We also have in our midst, all the way from the Eastern Cape, uh, the Deputy President of one of our member organizations, SAPTACO, that a pet, pet I, I struggle to, to pronounce your surname, but it's pet. <laughs> when I have to pronounce these complicated Kosa names, I often murder them, so to be on the safe side, Deputy President, you are welcome, all the way from the Eastern Cape. Uh, colleagues, uh, in short, I'm, I'm not going to be long, but uh, I'm told that uh, I must just uh, sell BBCBE to you, especially those who are here and are still contemplating to be members. Uh, ladies, uh, Ndate, excuse me, sorry. Can we please be in one meeting? Thank you very much. Right, so, so, so colleagues, BBCBE is a business chamber. That's what we are. We're a lobby group. Others will call us a pressure group. But that's what we are. So what we do is that we wake up every morning and we look at the laws, the regulations, the policies that govern the environment within which you are operating. And our work is to influence them in such a way that it makes sense for you to run a sustainable business. So if a procurement policy is a problem to your business, when you are a member in good standing, let's understand that. When you are a member in good standing, then you have a right to phone the office and say, I don't like this policy. In the Eastern Cape, uh, there is this client who is doing this and this and that, and the criteria or the requirement for this tender is such that I can see that it is meant for certain people and not me. So you phone the office. We are able to take up that battle on your behalf. Let me assure you that such battles, our strike rate is 100% of those. How are we structured as the BBCBE? We have got members who are professionals, built environment professionals, so engineers, architects, and so on. We have got core contractors as well as suppliers and manufacturers. That is the full scale of our coverage in terms of membership. And you will have seen, for instance, that today we had a very strong presence from the guys that we will consider to be in the financial services sector. Uh, those guys do give us performance guarantees, PIs, and so on and so forth. We consider them as suppliers. So they are also welcomed to become members of the BBCBE. So that's the full spread of membership that we look at. And you can join the BBCBE as a corporate or through an association. I've just introduced to you and the pet who is the deputy president of Subtaco. So we have got member associations as well that come and join the BBCBE. And in that uh, category, we've got Subtacos, we've got Sawik. You've already been told that the treasurer of the BBCB is also the president of Sawik. We have got the youth. We have got guys that just focus in lifts and escalators, LPDA, the guys that do the fire hydrants and so on and so forth. So those are sector-based associations that come to the BBCB and become members of the BBCB. So when you look at, um, you know, our membership base is quite varied, it is quite vast. And obviously through these associations, we then can claim to have national reach. Because when you look at Subtalco, it has got offices and repre uh, uh, representation in all the nine provinces. Sawik's the same. And also other associations that represent contractors countrywide. So we are right at the top, and then we represent the interests of all of these players. So, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to come on board as members so that we can be able to be of service to you and we can also be in the company of people that you want to do business with, which is very important. And I, th and, and I think to the MNC, next year, the program is let's get 
to have functions where we can network better and do business better. I would like to see a situation where the uh, service providers to our contractors, to the consultants, come to a get-together and they go away having secured business. That's what we need to do more of next year. So that's what we are all about as the BBCBE. And of course, with the core support of our sponsors such as PPC, the NHBRC, and so on and so forth, we will go very, 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 very far. And you saw the youth that came here, that were, well, they are almost there in terms of graduating. They might just go and write their trade tests. We have been at this journey for three years. So one of our core programs is training. We need to train the youth of our country. And after we train them, they cannot languish in our townships. Those youth, as you see them, they come from Soweto. Now, already earlier this year, in our council meeting, we had discussed that we are going to circulate their CVs. And I know that the office did circulate the CVs. Now that you have seen them again, members, we expect you to hire them. Because if we don't hire them, who is going to hire this youth? We can't train them and allow them to go back to the streets. So, we are going to phone. We are going to phone. Retahira bis kapa taxi. Rinderba drop a one by one. Retaba drop at the reception. We'll drop them at the reception. You will hire them. Thank you very much. <laughs>